So I'll be studying this so that I can actually pass, hopefully. And then, uh, like, we'll be ready to go. Cute. Good morning, y'all. I hope you have some tea or some coffee uh, because I have a lot of updates to share with you. Hey, y'all. So as a lot of you probably know already, I've been living in my bus since like December. I can't get a license to drive my bus yet. So I've been focusing on making myself feel at home in the bus since I'm not exactly having the bus life adventure I was aiming for. But you know what? This is the truth of it. And I'm gonna show it to you. I honestly think it's so fitting that the start of bus life has been a mess because the conversion was a mess. These instructions look really complicated. I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm still gonna do it. Good morning. I'm stressed. This sucks. I don't wanna do this. I'm a mess. And this is more what reality is. We see living in a van or a bus or whatever very romanticized and obviously there's gonna be great parts to it but this is also a bus life experience and I wouldn't say it's been exceptionally romantic so far. <laughs> so here's what I've been thinking lately. Can I sit still? No, I can't. Forget it. <laughs> so here's what I've been thinking lately. I think the bus is really homey but there's still a good way to go to make the bus feel really personal and I have some decorating I've been been wanting to do so why not do that so the first thing is uh, more of a practical thing and less of a decoration but it still adds like some sparkle to the space <laughs> and what that is is bar stools for my desk slash our extra counter slash our table slash whatever else it needs to be This is actually a wheelchair door, so it does open. I haven't been able to open it in forever because winter, but this is gonna be such a nice place to eat or work or whatever. So right here I wanted to hang a big map, just like a regular poster you could put thumbtacks in and shit. No stores sell them, none of them. No, no store sells that. I looked in every store, you have to order it online. So I don't have one right now. But what I do have is a map my sister gave to me of uh, Glacier National Park, Waterton Glacier. If you don't know, uh, my sister and I actually took a road trip there. We car camped the whole way. We went to Badlands, Yellowstone, and Glacier. It was the most amazing trip of my entire life. The video is on my channel um, if you wanna see all of that. It's like a three part series. Anyways, so she worked at Glacier for the whole summer and she gave me this map. So I think I'm gonna hang the map there for now maybe. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but it has like a little pizza sauce stain on it. <laughs> So a fun fact about me is, I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel before, but I love maps. I love geography. Whenever I'm bored, I'll just bust out Google Maps and like do the street view and walk around or I'll play GeoGuessr. Like I, I'm not saying I'm good at GeoGuessr, by the way. So something else I've been thinking about is like hanging up some art or something. I'm not saying it's good art. This is just stuff that I've painted. I just don't know where to put this stuff. Cause like, there's not a lot of wall space. <laughs> well, those don't fit together really. Maybe, does that look silly? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, oh, this is hard. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. If the art was better, this wouldn't be so difficult. <laughs> so I think I've decided that I'm gonna hang my day and night desert scene up here. I got a little warm, so I took my flannel off. I'm definitely worried about that when we live in the bus because I always run really hot, so summer should be very interesting for me. <laughs> I'm using command hooks because there is some wiring to this light switch in here. I don't know exactly where it's at, I can't really remember, but I know that I forgot to put a protector on the stud, like a plate to protect where the wiring went through, so I'm not gonna risk like putting nails in here. I, I just, I don't <laughs> I don't want all of these lights to stop working. That would be really tragic. So command hooks, I know they're gonna fall off when the weather changes. I don't have to like keep replacing them. Yeah, I think that definitely makes it a little bit more homey in here. Remember how I said I was worried about summer in here? Okay, well not to publicly shame myself, but I'm about to. It's only 68 degrees Fahrenheit in here and I am breaking a sweat. Do you see why I'm a little concerned? So, even at the risk of it being totally in the way, 
I have a hanging plant that I really want to put on this wall. If you're not familiar with the bus, this wall is actually the entrance to the bathroom. So I want to hang it right here. I'm sorry if my clothes keep changing, but it's best that we just get used to this because this is how I function in my day-to-day -day life. Okay, I actually really like it. I know hanging plants aren't everyone's thing, but I love plants and I obviously love green. I'm sure you've noticed that all of my shit is green. That's a gross sentence, don't say that. And I don't think it's too hard to walk through either, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Woo! All right, I'm starting to feel kind of tired and a little weird, so I think I'm gonna edit and try to wind down and I'm gonna study for my road test for the bus because I think we might actually be able to get it done this weekend. So I'll be studying this so that I can actually pass, hopefully, and then, uh, like, we'll be ready to go. Good morning, y'all. I hope you have some tea or some coffee uh, because I have a lot of updates to share with you. First of all, the most obvious thing. Yes, I did cut my own bangs this morning. I love them. I love them. I'm a bangs girl and I always have been. I gotta walk around. I got too much energy. Remember how I told you that I was studying for my license? Well, Kenny and I took the written and driving exam and guess what? We passed! So what does that mean? It means it's time to go. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe I get to share this update with you in real time. And it's not like something where it's after the fact and I'm just like, oh, hey, check it out, we're leaving. Like, no, I was just filming this vlog and then uh, I just happened to pass my test. There's a lot of little things and one kind of big thing that we need to do before we leave. Before I bought the bus, I had a mechanic, a diesel mechanic, take a look at it. And he said that it was good to go, but just to be careful, we are gonna have a diesel mechanic check everything over and of course change the filters and fluids before we leave. I am crossing my fingers that there's nothing serious that needs to happen, but at this point I will hope for the best but expect the worst. <laughs> Come sit with me, you're so far away. So what I want to do now, since things have changed a little bit, I think what I'm gonna do is start prepping the bus to take it to the mechanic. I am rambling, I'm sorry. I'm like, I've got my bangs, I've got my license. It's our day, besties, it's our day. is getting this thing over to the mechanic. All right, I know I look a little bit rough, but we're ready to take this thing to the mechanic, so let's go. Okay, so I'm driving separately in case we have to leave the bus there, which I'm pretty sure we do. So obviously we need a way to get back here. Oh, I'm very nervous that they're gonna find something wrong. I don't know, I'm just very anxious. We just got here, we're at the mechanic letting the bus run for just a second. That ride was uh, nerve-wracking. I wasn't even in the bus, I was just leading the way. Um, we've never driven it, obviously, so that was intense, but um, nothing fell apart. We got here and everything's fine, like where we left it, so that is excellent. We just got back. It feels really weird to not have my house here. My house is in a shop. I was thinking, I kept thinking on the way here, oh, I'm just gonna get in bed and lay down in my bed when I get home. Nope. My house is in the shop. Okay, y'all, we just picked up the bus. There was very minimal repairs that it needed. Everything is good to go. So when I see you next, I, I'm gonna be on the road. So I'll see you next time. Love you, bye. <laughs>